During this video, I'm going to perform an upgrade of Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro to show how to do it. It's not the way that you might expect. There is a bug in the operation. So you need to know this method of doing it in order to accomplish it or you get very frustrated. On my channel on Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Pacific time, I usually am hosting a live stream on my channel where people can come into the chat room and can come into a live Zoom session where many of us stand ready to help with whatever Windows-based problems that you might have with your with a computer. So if that is of use to you, please join us on Saturdays. Or if Saturdays don't work for you, you can send me an email, dougbetts at livewindowstraining.com, and we'll come up with a different day and time to assist. So coming over to my screen number two on this computer, now I'm actually going to perform this upgrade using the computer that I'm recording the video on, which could be a little strange from my point of view. The reason why I want to upgrade this computer from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro is that this computer has 256 gigabytes of memory, but only 128 of it is usable because Windows 10 Home can only address 128 gigabytes of memory. A little bit of backstory on this computer. This is the computer that I purchased from Kerry Holzman. He built it on his channel during live streams. That's it right there. It actually has two complete computers within that one case. The one that we call um, Big Beast Build has the 256 gigabytes of memory. What I did is I, I bought the computer from him and then I restored an image from my previous computer to this computer so that I wouldn't have to reinstall all of my software. Not quite sure if that's going to work out well for me. I could wind up just go ahead and reinstall all of my software. That The jury's still out on that. But when I did that restore operation, Windows 10 Home on this computer was not activated because there was no Windows 10 Home digital license for this hardware. There is a Windows 10 Pro license that Kerry assigned to it. So my first step was to get Windows 10 Home activated. What I, the way I did that is I just bought a Windows 10 Home license from CDK Deals using a link from Kerry Holzman's channel. On any of his recent videos, he has the link in the description of those videos and it was it was under twenty dollars. I don't remember if that one was twelve or eighteen, sixteen, whatever it was. It's an immaterial <laughs> amount of money compared to the full retail price of that product. So that's a bit of the backstory of this computer. But the technique that I'm going to show would apply to any instance where you're trying to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. Coming back to monitor number two, what I'll do is go into activation. I'm going to type the word activation to go to activation settings. And here are the ways that seemed obvious to me was to go to the store or change the product key. So I tried that. I tried putting in the Windows 10 Pro product key to upgrade from this Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. That didn't work. It resulted in an error message. I tried going to the store and going through the store's method for performing an upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. I also got an error message there. It wouldn't even get to the point of paying their fee through the store for purchasing the upgrade license. What I found is that there is a bug. And here, here, this is a the best wording that I saw anywhere. So this is the one that I'm going to show to you. This is on answers.microsoft.com. This is from Dave, an independent advisor, and he's responding to a question from Horace. And Dave says, this is a known bug in the Home to Pro upgrade process. Use this fix for the original license you purchased from Microsoft. Disconnect totally from the internet open the settings app, <clears throat> go to update and security activation, activation, that's the page that I was just on, click change the product key, 
enter this product key, not the one that you purchased. This is a special product key, generic product key, that works specifically for doing this upgrade. But you're putting this in after you have disconnected from the internet. That's an important point. It won't work if you're still connected. Does that sound like a bug or what? Has Microsoft's not fixed this? This is this is problem. This problem has existed for years. If the above does not work, try it again. So I'm going to highlight that, press Control C to copy it. Then I'll go back to the activation page. So I'm going to change the product key. But first, I have to disconnect from the internet. Now I have two monitors going here, and you can't see the notification icons on my second monitor. But on my second monitor, well, it's actually my first monitor, there's an icon down in the notification area. It looks like a computer monitor. I'm going to right click on that icon and open network and internet settings. Now I can show this to you. This shows that I'm on an Ethernet 3 private network. What I'm going to do to disconnect from that is I'm just going to reach over here and unplug my Ethernet cable from the computer. When I originally did this the first time, it automatically connected by Wi-Fi, and it's doing that again. So I have to connect, disconnect the Wi-Fi. The way I'll do that is come over here to the left side, click on Wi-Fi, and then turn off Wi-Fi. So now Wi-Fi is not connected, Ethernet is not connected. I'm going to go back to the activation settings page. Come down here to change product key. And drag that over to this monitor so you can see it. And then Control V to paste that product key. So I'm not connected to the internet now. That's critically important for this to work. And then click Next. And then what's going to happen is it gives me a prompt for restarting the computer. Upgrading your edition will add new features to Windows. Before you start, make sure to save your work, close any apps. The upgrade might take a while. This device will restart. You won't be able to use this device until it's done. So I'm going to end the recording of the video. I'm going to restart the recording of the video and then click the Start button because I'm not sure how much of that video is going to get saved during the process of upgrading and restarting. Here I'm clicking the Start button. Preparing for upgrade. This might take a while. Don't turn off your PC. So I'm probably going to fast forward through this. Some of it may not be captured in the recording. And then I'll give a summary afterwards. The recording. Uh, was lost during that. There was some more counters going on for installing updates or making changes, not updates, but whatever the message said, I didn't capture it. It took a few minutes before the computer got restarted. So here I'll go to Windows key R and type WinVer, enter. I'm still not connected to the internet. This shows Windows 10 Pro operating system. So the next piece in that step was to uh, apply, or reconnect to the internet, and then change the activation code, the product code, uh, to get a digital license. I'm not going to be able to do that piece of the step here because this computer has already had a Windows 10 Pro license associated with it, a digital license associated with it. So it'll come up automatically. Let's, in, in order to show this, let me go Windows key, activation settings to get back into that window. So we got this message, we can't activate Windows on this device. Activation servers aren't available right now. Of course they're not, are not connected to the internet. Make sure you're connected to the internet. We'll automatically try to reactivate. So I'll go ahead and connect in the last product key that I put in was that temporary product key. But this should instantly activate with a digital license. There it's connected. 
the notification area on the bottom right corner that you can't see, there's the computer monitor that just showed up. Got a spinning circle here, and there it is. Windows is activated with the digital license linked to your Microsoft account. If it didn't do that, what I would do then is change the product key to put in the Windows 10 Pro key because the operating system on this computer is currently Windows 10 Pro. So you can put in the Windows 10 Pro license key that you purchase here. Okay, so that's it for this. I hope that was useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.